welcome back to another Mother Chatter's video with myself, Liam. Now today is something a little bit different. Because I don't have access to my PC as I'm still travelling, I decided to play a mobile game. So before I get into the game, that is Bonfire 2, I'll just briefly explain it as I've been playing it myself. As you can see in this time lapse option that I have here, I can show you how it started and where it is now after about 50 days. So the short answer is you create a little settlement, you create jobs, you expand your city, you grow and eventually create a bustling city, all whilst defending from creatures that come at the night time. So you can see here, this is my personal save that I've been playing in my spare time. I have all of these different workers that I've assigned to different posts. Some are loggers, some are guards, some are builders. There's God knows how many different categories you can put them into and get them working on. Uh, I've also built houses for them, jobs, roads, and all of this you can upgrade as you progress. So like the housing, you can only fit two, then you upgrade it again. You can fit three, upgrade it again, so people have a place to stay and survive. Uh, there's also other stuff to build as well. You can build archery, a gym, a dock where like you can build ships, you can build a wooden ship, or you can build a steel ship. So you can explore out in the um, out in the ocean and stuff like that, find new lands. Uh, genuinely, genuinely, a really, really cool game, and it's available on all app stores. It's free, but you have it with ads, so you have to pay about four pounds to remove them, which isn't too bad. Or you just watch a ten second ad and they're gone. But it does get a bit annoying after a while, and I don't really want to spoil too much as. To be honest, this game is really, really good, and it's constantly surprising me, so instead of just explaining all of it, I'm just going to jump straight into it. All right, hello everyone, this is the Bonfire 2 Uncharted Shores, as I've already explained, so I'm just going to go straight in, start a game, ignore the first one, that is one that I have been playing to get to know the game, you know, I'm on day 80, pretty advanced at this thing. All right, so we're going into it, I'm just going to skip this anyway, because if you want to watch it, download the game, like I said, it is a free game, it is a free game, but it just comes with ads that do get very very frustrating after a while so this is a little bit different um obviously you get randomized so on my other one this small little thing over here you can change the camera angle this small little pond is over there and i don't have that so if you want to keep changing it until you get all of these things because you see this brick thing here you can change that it's either a coal mine or a iron works or something like that but the fact that i've got two in the starting island because you've got three starting islands means i don't have to venture across the other one which is very good so i don't have to build bridges for a while so i can just make do here so build a bonfire this is how you start so you've got your first four little guys here who are just clueless have nothing to do do you want to name them first actually i'll name them first so if you want to if you want to be named after a little npc please make sure to comment down below we've already got about 13 14 we didn't get 13 14 comments because i'm going to start off with obviously the basic names i'll be I'll be this lovely young woman here. There we go, there's me. So I need to make sure I don't die, because that'd be pretty embarrassing. First three can be Liam James and Marcus, also known as... So there we go. And now we have our first one coming up. These are done in order of whoever sent them in, which is Zach. There you go, Zach. So you're part of the crew now, Zach. Here are the boys. Let's build a bonfire. So I'm going to work... Mm, do I want to build it centrally? Yes. I'm going to build it in right in the middle of these two things here so that it's fairly close by to all the stuff I need. So I'm going to need these, they're going to be quite good. See, as you can see now, here are our builders here. They're going away, they're picking up wood and they're going along. You can destroy the trees if you want. It doesn't really do much, they'll just go to a different tree and pick up wood from there. As you can see, build the campfire and this is your main base of action. This is going to be fairly boring. This It's going to be interesting for those of you who want to know how to play it. I mean, it is very, very simple to start playing. I got the gist of it within about five to ten minutes. It sort of like tells you everything you need to do, as most games do. So what should you name this this new land? Well, James, I'll tell, tell you what we'll call this new land, James. We'll call it Chudville. There we go. Chudville is completed. Build a hunting lodge. The villagers need to eat food every day. These are like the basic things you need. So now put the hunting lodge, you can spin it around as well like that. It depends, if you've got like mad OCD, I would try and set out where you want it to be because you have to destroy it then to move it again. So I'm gonna put it fairly centrally to there, not too close because you can build roads as well. So I put the hunting lodge there, my little workers, Liam, Fatkus, James and Zach, the four, the four guys, the quad, quadruplets, going to work here. Look at that, see the tree's right next to it so it's just easy, they just turn, Pick a log from a tree, I don't know how they're doing that, and put it straight back down again. Right, now you tap on the hunting lodge, you do this with everything, so you do this with all of your different bases or like lodges that you build. So you need a hunter, who can be the hunter? So you can see these here, they come with, I put Zach on it, so Zach is increased chance of finding rare items. So Zach has just murdered, brutally murdered a deer there, you absolute monster. Good job Zach. And now Zach picks it up and he takes it back. 
delicious food for everyone to eat. You can see up here, you've got your food. So you've got wood and we've got food. We've got one food, which isn't really great because Marcus is going to eat all of it. <laughs> and we've got barely any wood. I have an option to build something else. Aha! So housing for two. I can build four of them. As you progress, they'll give you more options. So I can build four. When I get more people, I'll be able to get eight. If they don't have a hut, they'll have to spend the night here. So you see down here, you've got the little day icon down in the corner. So when that gets to night, you want to try and build it before night because as soon as night comes, we have no guards, which is a bad thing. I should probably assign a guard. Uh, hmm, James. What's James got there? James is loyal. He never becomes thief. So that's just you know something for the future is they can become thieves james is loyal james could be the guard james is strong i won't put marcus on it i'll just keep marcus keep marcus by himself for now because you're never too sure i'll sign another guard as well uh of course he is look at that marcus eating food ignore me so i'll be a guard as well marcus can be by himself for now all right so me and james are guards because we're pretty fucking hench to be honest all right so let's build some little huts so first hut can go mm, i don't want it too close to that there so oh. So build a hut up there, residential area. I'm just going to start putting huts down because you'll soon find out if you start playing this game, at some points it can get a bit annoying because you don't have enough huts for people. So everyone's stood outside and although it doesn't do too much, it's very, very annoying to have them sat outside without being able to do anything. So here's our plan, our little residential area. We've got a strip of four here. So the guards come awake at night. As you can see, it's coming into night time now. So they will stay asleep during the night time. Me and James are awake, we kill the wolves that come. There can be more stuff than wolves. You can have giant insects, you can have spiders, you can have this one guy that absolutely ruins you. You'll see him as you level up, he's an absolute beast. He will literally kill. You can have armor on your guys, you can give them swords and he will literally like two shot them instantly. So me and James are awake now. We'll change the camera angle around. You can probably see us a little bit there. We're patrolling the grounds. I'm really tired now, apparently. And then Marcus and Zach are down there taking a little nap because they're going to be at work during the day whilst we're sleeping. So we're on the graveyard night shift. Here you go. So here you go. Play. I can pause it if I want to like look at the names and stuff like that. So you've got two assigned to guards, one assigned to hunter, one assigned to builder. You can stay and look at that, keep it on pause. Or you can play where it goes quite slowly, but I like to play it on fast forward because it speeds things up a bit because it can get a bit slow and a bit boring if you just play on the standard speed. There you go, they're awake now. So Zach's got to work. Good boy, Zach. Absolutely murdering stuff. And old Fatkus there. Fatkus is our builder. Because he's so fat, we can't keep him anywhere near the food. So we have to keep him occupied during the day so he doesn't eat all of our food stores. So right now, he's... Luckily, you can't eat trees, although he has tried. But he's building our little huts for us now. So probably... I don't know, maybe me and Marcus will share one hut. And, you know, I don't... I'm not on like personal terms with Zach, so I don't really want to share one with him. I don't want anything crazy. I don't know what he's like. He might be an absolute monster in the bedroom. James is a bit more delicate, but Marcus is an absolute monster. So I want to stay in a hut with him because he's going he's gonna to satisfy my needs. There you go. Here we go. We've got a new, new guy coming. He's joined us. He has joined us. Here we go. So what does he say here? You click on his little name, Arik. He's going to be changed. His name is going to be changed soon. This looks like a nice village. I will work for food. Good lad. So as soon as you get a guy, he will immediately go, as you can see in there, he goes into building mode. That literally, like, he's just arrived. You don't have to say anything to him. He's gone straight into building mode. And this guy is going to be called Ben. There you go, Ben. So Ben has one strength, so he wouldn't make a very good guard. He has free agility. Agility, I'm pretty sure it does something along the lines of ranged attacks or something like that. And intelligence just means they can produce more. So let's have a little look-see. So I can pause it here. Two strength. Fatkus has got two strength. Let's see. Because you want the guards to have a decent amount of strength. There you go. Me and James both have both have two strength, which is decent. He's a hunter. Zach's... Oh, fuck this. Right, I'm going to stop being a fucking... James can beat one. Zach can be a hunter, because he's an absolute beast by the looks of it. So if you want to change him back to a hunter, you go on there. So I've got four. As you upgrade it, you can add more guards. At the moment you've got four, you don't need four. So you want to like spread it out fairly evenly. So let's go and put... Take Zach back off of hunting. Just quick, click the little X. Go on to the... Put Zach in there because he's an absolute beast and I'll carry on being a builder and we will assign Hunter to Ben because Ben, he just seems to know what he's doing really. Let's have a look at him. What's he got? Double damage at half health. Sweet. All right, now get back to fast forwarding. There we go. So they eat the food and now our guards are out. I can't remember who our guards are. James and Zach. Zach is new to the job of being a guard. Let's hope he does it well. Normally you just get spiders and wolves to begin with so they can just punch them to death it seems a bit stupid being able to punch a wolf to death but you know that's just that's just how it goes here you go one wolf obviously as you progress they'll run away because they don't have a they don't have a hut to hide in 
they run away for the minute. And as you can see there, they will provide skins, which are good. We don't have any at the moment. And they will also provide food. So there you go. One skin, which will help, help to build stuff, which is good.